So we are on our way to the ghost tour. Okay. It's gonna be really fun and I'm super excited for it. And this is actually where the Braviates put all the single young men of the community. Uh, as a matter of fact, they believed equally in education for both men and women. In fact, one of the oldest colleges was founded here in Bethlehem by the daughter of Count von Zinzendorf, Benigna. Uh, later that became Moravian University. Uh, General George Washington actually came here to Bethlehem specifically to seek help from the Moravians. They refused to send soldiers. What they did offer instead were hospitals and supplies. They actually handed over this building as a field hospital. The building was handed back to the Moravians in 1778. Brethren moved back in and it continued on as was until eventually it was taken over by Moravian University. And students are in and out of here all the time. And we actually get a lot of stories from the students. Uh, it seems this building hosts three ghosts in particular. One of them is a woman who people who have seen her report looks like a Revolutionary War nurse. Uh, they hear footsteps tapping very purposely up and down the hallway. If she went into the basement, she probably actually would be able to find a patient. A number of years ago, a maintenance man was in the basement taking care of some work when he heard a noise coming from one of the back corners. As he turned and looked, he saw a man with bloody bandages around his head and arm stumbling out of the shadow. Jenner was very brave, much braver than I would have been to be honest, and actually went towards the man to offer help. The man vanished from view. The third ghost is more mobile and is called the Grey Ghost. He actually starts down behind this building. Uh, people who have spotted him report he is dressed like a Revolutionary War soldier. Perhaps he was one of the soldiers that was put on duty to guard the town and the hospital and nobody told him his duties were over. Or else he's visiting the building right next door. And when it was built, it was actually dormitories for the ladies' seminary here in Bethlehem. Strangely enough, it is actually still used as dormitories, but this time from Moravian University. Uh, there are a lot of stories about this building. Most of the activity in it tends to be more mischievous than dangerous. Now, on the first floor, they actually have one of the rooms preserved with furniture that would have been there in the 1850s. And in this room, there is a particular mirror set opposite a sofa. And it's said that if you and your sweetheart sit in the sofa and look in the mirror, you'll be able to see your future. If you see an elderly couple reflected back at you, it means the two of you are destined to live happily ever after. And here in Bethlehem, we like to be very convenient. So our next stop is actually a very nice place to get married to guarantee that happily ever after. Second stop, uh, the old chapel. Uh, this was built in 1751. Uh, you see the Moravians were very, very, very musical. That was the most effective way to express your consideration, your, your gratitude to God. A number of years ago, Moravian University was actually hosting a concert here, which coincidentally enough was singing songs from 1740s, which were written by local Moravians. Now one of the attendees said that as she sat in the audience, felt a little nudge, and suddenly everything she was looking at was unfamiliar. Lights switched from clear electric to wavering candlelight, the faces no longer looked familiar, and the clothing was decidedly old-fashioned. Before she could focus too much though, she felt another nudge, and was once more looking at people she knew. She reports that this actually felt very serene and peaceful, and wouldn't mind it happening again. And that pretty much sums up with how Moravians felt about music. Now the Moravians also had some very specific beliefs about death. Uh, for one thing, you were buried, there was no cremation, but we are in Pennsylvania. So obviously what happens during the winter to the ground? <laughs> it gets very hard and it freezes. So right about behind where you guys are standing, there used to be a building which was called the Death House. So anybody who was unlucky enough to die when the ground was cold would be put there wearing a long white shift. Now we're actually going to take the pathway that a coffin might have gone, and our next stop is the cemetery. Welcome to God's Acre. God's Acre was the first cemetery here in Bethlehem. Uh, as I said, the Moravians had very definitive beliefs about death. And as you can see, the tombstones are all flat to the ground. Uh, they believe that in the end, in the eyes of God, everyone was equal. And to show this, they buried everyone with the same flat headstone so that nobody tried to rise themselves higher than their fellows. Believe it or not, there is actually about 2,600 people buried in this cemetery. When the hospital was going on at the Brethren House, we had a lot of doctors come in who were not Moravians. A couple of them, unfortunately, did pass. We had a lot of other interesting things happen more recently. Actually, it happened on some of our tours. Uh, early on, when we first started doing these, we were cutting through when the tour guide saw a shadow move behind one of the trees. It was fairly small, fast moving. She thought it was a dog and just waited until it would come out the other side. Now, when it didn't, he didn't say anything to her group. It just continued 
on as normal. Explain the situation to the rest of us. She went into a little more detail about how it was about this big, how it moved. And one of us said, oh, he said it's toddler sized. Uh, you see the Moravians were very good at record keeping and there's actually records of every single burial in here. The section where she saw that shadow darting is actually a section where little children were buried. So she figures somebody was looking for a playmate. Welcome to the most haunted bit of land in Bethlehem, the Hotel Bethlehem. Uh, now, while the building itself is haunted, it's not so much the building as what the land is built on. Then in the 1920s, this structure was built, the Hotel Bethlehem, by Charles Schwab, president of Bethlehem Steel. Unfortunately, what nobody probably told Schwab about was all the baggage that came with the land he picked. A lot of the maintenance workers have reported seeing a rather portly ghost with a tricorn cap in the basement. Uh, he never gets up to mischief. In fact, one of his favorite things to do is he finds light bulbs that are about to burn out and loosens them just enough so they start to flicker so they get replaced before they leave somebody in absolute darkness. And then there's the lady outside the kitchen. Uh, there's a woman in Reagan costume, old-fashioned dress, who is absolutely barefoot. So it seems that Mrs. Braun did take her pink slip very seriously and stuck around too. What was your favorite part about the tour? My favorite part about the tour was in the beginning when we learned about the different ghosts that are haunting various Moravian college dorms and sort of the history behind some of the Moravian buildings. Um, my favorite part, I think, was all the stories that we heard and the pictures at the end. They showed us some really freaky stuff. I know it's hard to see us but we're gonna talk just a little bit. What was your favorite part about the ghost tour, Adam? I liked the cemetery. That the was cemetery pretty cool. Part. That was like so creepy. I honestly had chills up and down my back the entire time. There was a lot of spooky stories in the cemetery. My favorite part was honestly the beginning. I liked hearing about like the American Revolution stuff. Yeah, that was pretty cool. I thought that was really interesting. There was also that like that guy, that dude, that dude at, as soon as we were done like talking about like the person who like walks up and down, he like crossed the street and that was honestly kind of creepy. I thought it was really interesting. I definitely would say if you are gonna go to Moravian and if you're looking for something to do around Halloween, definitely do the ghost tour. It was done really, really well and it's something that you should do.